When I was growing up, I always used to visit my local deli and order this chicken schnitzel sandwich. Today, we're gonna make that very same sandwich way, way, way freaking better. Now let's go! That's a good slap. We're gonna start with some Italian vinaigrette. Starting with red wine vinegar, a little pinch of salt. Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. That's black pepper, some fresh grated garlic, minced shallot, dried oregano, dried Italian seasoning, some fresh thyme, Dijon mustard, a little bit of honey, chili flakes, and of course, olive oil. It's really easy to stick it all in a jar and then just cap it. Then we're just gonna shake it all up. <clears throat> Done. Here I have some Italian peppers. I'm setting them straight over my stove over high heat. So after about a minute, I'll give these a turn. We're just trying to blacken them lightly and nicely all over. So just about five, six minutes of burning. We'll cap it and let it steam for 10 minutes. A couple chicken breasts. And what I'm gonna do here is just slice these directly in half because we are trying to get some really thin schnitzels in half. Next one, just like so. I'll throw these into a gallon Ziploc and we're gonna pound them out until about a third of an inch to a half an inch thick, depending on how you like it. These are about a third of an inch. For our breading station, I have some all-purpose flour here. A couple spices I really love to add. It's just a little bit of garlic powder, a little more onion powder, touch of salt, and some more pepper. Over here, I have two eggs. Just gonna beat them up. Finally, some panko breadcrumbs. Don't hate me for it. These are just the best breadcrumbs, but you could use Italian if you want. And my favorite thing to put in these breadcrumbs is just a little bit of fresh thyme. It'll kind of pop and scent the chicken when you cook it. So let's flour our chicken and then hold it up, tap off the excess a little bit. Don't spank your meat, okay? You're gonna see a lot of that on social media. Don't do that. Into the egg, coat it up nicely. And what you can do here is just drag the chicken along the side and then straight into the panko. In regards to the panko and the chicken, you dip it, you flip it, then take some of these breadcrumbs, put them all on top of the chicken and then just press that in. Putting a little pressure on the chicken really helps all that panko get in the nooks and crannies. And then you might wanna flip one more time and do the same on this side. So after 10 minutes, we can take out our peppers here. We're going to peel the pepper. What I recommend is not running these underwater, okay? You're gonna lose a lot of flavor, so just peel them the best you can. Also, what works really well is just pulling down with a paper towel. That will really get off a lot of the skin. This for me is a total pass. So what if there's a little peel left on, right? So what? Stop trying to be perfect. We'll then slice the top and cut open the pepper, and with the back of the knife, I'll just scrape out the seeds. From here, tip of the knife down, and I'm just gonna pull through. This is kind of an advanced technique. Don't try this if you're not good with a knife. You can always just slice them up like this as well. And with our peppers here, I'm just dropping them into a half quart container, and we'll hit those with a little salt, pepper. We're simply gonna use our Italian dressing for all the veggies that are going in here. We'll pull this out later again, and let these sit at room temp until your sandwich is ready to build, and they are gonna be so freaking good. Before we cook the chicken and finish a sandwich, let's do our mise en place, meaning put everything in place so that when we build, it's nice and fun and not stressful and stupid. Starting with a red onion, you could use a knife for this, but I'm gonna shred it up on my mandolin. Is there a good reason you haven't subscribed? Some, okay, heirloom, heirloom tomato. We'll just make some nice slices and we'll season these up just a little bit later. Romaine lettuce, I'll take a little bit off the top. And then I'm going for that deli style shredded lettuce. So I'm gonna slice this up nice and thin. And then we'll just slice nice and thin all the way down. Next up, some pepperoncini. And if you're Italian, I would love to know how I just did on that. Just gonna slice these up, getting ready for the sandwich. Simple as that. Take your bread. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me try again, dude. Take a little French bread because I needed something nice and soft for the sandwich. And what I'm gonna do because it's a little bit uneven is just trim one side of it. Stick with me here. We're gonna make a giant sandwich that gets cut into smaller sandwiches. From here, we'll just open the whole thing up just the same way we kind of butterfly that chicken. There we are. And we'll leave it just like this and toast it under the broiler shortly. Big pan over medium heat. We'll let that warm up for three, four minutes, then add the oil, then start cooking. I'm adding a little bit of peanut oil here. You could use avocado, which is what I usually use. Any high smoke point neutral oil will be fine. And when I do this, I like quite a bit of oil. I put probably a half cup of oil in here almost. Should be shallow frying. So we just let the oil heat up 30 seconds. I can use this little piece of thyme to test it. It's crackling and popping. So let's lower in our nice, beautiful chicken schnitzels away from you. You do that, so if the oil splashes, it's gonna splash that way, not onto you. And depending on your stove, you might have to have medium high heat. This stove is decent, so I'm just a touch over medium. Because this chicken is so thin, two minutes, I'm gonna turn it. Wow, it looks fantastic. And as soon as you turn those, hit them with a little bit more salt. They can always use that. Oh my gosh. 
Another two minutes for a total of four minutes, and we're gonna let them rest for about four or five minutes. With the bread here, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it with olive oil, and I'm putting it under the broiler to toast. Little touch of salt on the lettuce, salt definitely on the tomatoes, and a little salt on the onions. Sergeant Gilbert down the line. I look like an idiot. Bread's fine. Now, Italian vinaigrette. This recipe's easy, I think, because we're using the Italian vinaigrette for everything. We want this whole thing to be juicy, and we need all this acidity to cut through the richness of the chicken. Toss them all up with the vinaigrette and the salt and pepper. About three, four minutes on the bread, it's nice and toasty. And when that bread comes out, we're gonna provolone our chicken. You could not use cheese if you want, but I'm gonna do it. And straight under the broiler. Dude, this is looking so good. Nice bubbly provolone on the chicken. Time to build, my friends. Garlic mayo, you could just use regular whatever. <sighs> Ooh. Avocado, don't hate me for it. I, I like it here. If you don't want to put it, don't put it. And I'm going on both sides. Two chicken cutlets down. Schnitzels, I meant. Schnitzels. Tomato, all juicy and seasoned. Our pickled peppers here. I'm getting pretty excited. I don't know about you watching at home, but gosh. Jeez, jeez. What the hell's that guy doing? Onions. Pepper and those. And of course your lettuce here. Will it fold? Now, the fold over the top. Oh my. And of course, we gotta do a little bit of a chef's press. From here, we're gonna slice it into smaller sandwiches because obviously this is absolutely absurd. Oh my God, so much juice coming out of my mouth. It's looking at me and I'm looking back at it. There's a bond being formed. Oh! Mm. <laughs> Oh my God, oh, I'm, a, I'm a monster. I'm at a loss for words, my friends. This is ridiculous. Marcus, come on. Wait, Marcus, let me get you in frame. Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, go for it. Let's get the reaction. Marcus is a sandwich connoisseur. When he did, if he does the happy dance, it's a win. Do the sandwich city here. Until next time, you know I love you in a mouth.